And I was like, wow, I have never experienced that in a math class. And if this is what Math Pathways does, then sign me up. At Concordia, we are about making sure we are looking at the whole student so everybody can find their way for engaging. Every teacher knows that we are sitting with a range of easily seven years in a classroom and you walk in and your learning support tells you, hey, this person is on a year two level and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? If they're in a traditional classroom, we're focusing on this year level curriculum, they're not going to succeed at that level because they have so many gaps in their knowledge. So they get to focus on filling in those gaps and they're getting that level where they get it, they understand it. I have now differentiated for every single student in my class. I'm not boring my smart kid sitting politely at the back just nodding along and I'm also not losing my lower end of the class because I genuinely would love to learn but have no idea about the concepts we are talking about. Every student is working on their own level at their own module, genuinely excited because for once they understand maths. Everyone's doing the sort of maths they're ready to do. It is so much better for the kids. It really looks at your lower students, it looks at your higher student, it brings in problem solving, it brings in lateral thinking. It brought out all these things in maths that we tend to lose because it's always chalk and talk. They got to experience it in all the different ways. Just phenomenal. The whole program is not an online program. There's much more going on. It is not a thing where I go in and I sit behind a desk and kids teach themselves. There's a set structure and guidance provided to me in mini lessons, rich tasks. Working with tangible things where they're playing with the maths instead of me telling them it's maths because I said so. And they have to find the challenge themselves and solve and ask the right questions. They go, oh, I've actually got to use my brain. I actually have to problem solve. I actually have to try and figure it out. As a teacher, it's very difficult because I really want to tell them what the answer is or how to do it. Have a think about it. Look at the pattern. Figure it out. Talk to each other. It is for their benefit whether they think about it or not. <laughs> yeah. Not only is maths now something students are excited about, but I know where my students are at. The best thing about it is all the data you get from it. it gave us information we never had about students. It's so easy to identify where every single student is. What strand the kids are working on, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. It makes your job a lot easier. <laughs> it really does. The biggest difference I have noticed as a teacher and as head of maths is that my students are excited about maths. They are much more independent in their thinking. If they do get a question wrong, it's not like, oh, math is stupid, but it's like, okay, what did I do wrong and how can I do it better next time? In life, you're constantly using maths even just to figure out simple things. They're thinking in terms of progress and long-term goals. If I want to achieve this, what do I need to do? What are my steps? I was scared in rolling out with Math Pathways, but it's one of the best decisions I've made. It's changed math from a quiet room to an alive space where I actually enjoy being there, not just because I'm passionate about teaching, but I know that the students are passionate about my learning. In my role in driving the learning into a different approach, we are seeing a great rapid growth facing opportunities where we've got students who are jumping ahead two to three years. It also helps with our students who are still consolidating their knowledge, so they're not left behind. I wish that I had that when I was that age. It opens up those doors and those windows for students rather than closing them down.